Hello friends, we are here today in Revelation chapter 12. So I really like this chapter because it's easy to understand. You know, the, the signs that are in this chapter are, are somewhat indisputable. It kind of spells out exactly what it's saying. So the rest of the chapters in this book are not really like that, but this one is. Now there's some, some mysterious things about this chapter, but well, what it has in the beginning is it, it says that John sees a sign. You know, this is, this is something new. He's something, seeing something. It's not a series of anything else. No. And it's kind of going back. You know, a lot of things are looking forward. It says that it, there's a woman. And that woman is giving birth. And then it brings what I think is the focal point of this chapter. And that is this red dragon. This red dragon is trying to eat the child of the woman. Now what we know from reading closely in this chapter is that the woman is the nation Israel. And the child is Christ, but not just Christ. It's, it's Christianity. It's, it's the people of God. So the red dragon is wanting to, to devour the baby, but then it kind of shows what's going on in heaven. It says that there's no more room for, for, for the dragon in heaven. And so Michael the archangel and, and his, his people, they pushed him out. They threw him out of heaven. Something that was said earlier in this chapter is that a third of the stars were taken down by the, by the dragon. Now that's to symbolize really all the demons that came with Satan out of heaven. Now when it came back to earth, that is the, the dragon, it said that it was furious because it knew that its days were numbered. So it starts railing against everything in creation and it's going after the children. And it even says that the children of the woman, you know, the other children, they are the people that, that follow, that follow the, you know, the, the main child. So we are the children of the woman. What I love about this chapter is that there is, has kind of like a, a poem, you know, and it's saying that the ones that follow the lamb are able to conquer the dragon. You know, throughout this book, it's talking about conquerors, but they're never really fighting. It says they're using the blood of the lamb to conquer the dragon. So that's how we are conquerors. We use the blood of the lamb, and there's nothing that the dragon can do about it. And the dragon, it says that it, out of its mouth comes this river, and it's trying to wash away the woman. I don't know exactly what this river was. The ESV study Bible suggests that it's, it may be lies, but it may just be persecution, you know, persecution of, of the Jewish people. It says that the woman was taken away for three and a half years. It says it twice. One, it says like 42 months, and once it says uh, 1,260 days. I think later on it says times time and half a time. They all mean the same thing, three and a half years. There are people that believe that this times time and half a time is talking about something that happened in the past. The Maccabean Wars uh, were three and a half years long. Very interesting time. You know, you can read about it in First and Second Maccabees if you have a Catholic Bible. And really, it was a time where this, this guy, Judas Maccabeus, he invented what we would understand to be guerrilla warfare. But I don't necessarily think that it's talking about that. I think that this time has something to do with the Great Tribulation and how God is going to protect his people during that time. But what we have in this chapter here is, is a motive. It shows the background. It shows the devil and why he's so angry and why he wants to get the people of God. And it, and it brings the character, who the beast is and who the good people are and who the bad people are. So anyways, that is Revelation chapter 12. Have a great day.